this is not your kid's slime science project. It's called a gel plate, and we're going to learn how to print and make artwork from these. First, we're going to use some basic ingredients to make your gel plate. We're going to use vegetable glycerin. You can buy this online. You're going to need food grade gelatin. It's a powder. You're going to need some good old tap water heated to boiling in the microwave. We're going to take a cup and a half of glycerin. 3rd cup of gelatin plus a teaspoon, so it's like 17 teaspoons of gelatin. And we're going to mix that together. And we're going to take our blowing water and we're going to pour that glycerin and gelatin mix into the boiling water. Mix it up really well until it's all dissolved. This is going to create a plate. From the jelly plate, we will be creating basic relief prints from leaves and other organic items. You can use any baking sheet as a mold for your plate. I used a 9 by 13 plastic storage container with a lid. We're cutting our gel plate to approximately 5 by 7. We'll be using 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper cut in half to print on. The excess gel can be melted down and stored in an airtight container for use with another project. Go ahead and choose some favorite acrylic colors for your prints. You can use any pliable leaves, lace, or even paper cutouts to lay on the plate. On a separate sheet of paper, I've drawn off the printing paper size. We will tape off that area with green tape so I'll know where to put our paper. Just inside the masked paper area, we'll draw off a 5 by 7 shape. This will be the guide for where we'll put our jelly plate. Let's put our piece of acrylic or our sheet protector on top of that guide and tape it down. Now we're going to lay our jelly plate over the plastic and check our paper for good measure. We're going to put paint on a palette and roll the brayer to cover. By moving the paint covered brayer over the plate, we create a colored surface on which to place our leaves or items that we want to print. Make sure to cover the plate completely with paint, but not too thick. I love tomato leaves this time of year and ferns. Those are two of my favorites. After placing your leaves directly on the paint covered plate, place a piece of paper on top and carefully tape down one end. This allows you to print a second time or another color using the same placement. This is a type of registration. Rub all the areas really well before moving your paper. 
There are many variations and ways to print. I like to print a couple of times before adding more paint. Sometimes the second and third pulls are actually more interesting than the first ones. This allows you to change the leaves that you're using, paint colors, or even after the original prints have been made, you can go back and print different uh, items or colors to create complex imagery. This purple leaf is an ornamental sweet potato vine and that creates a really nice look as well. It's okay if the leaves have holes in them. It's okay even if your plate has some little specks or holes. It creates some variety and, and visual interest. Be sure to rub that paper down really well. This is that second pull. These are so much fun to do. Kids can do these, um, adults. Right now I'm cleaning the plate so that I can change colors. You just wipe off the brayer. Baby wipes work really well. Notice I'm just putting enough black ink or paint on the plate to cover it. There's that tomato leaf again. Now I'm going to lay the sweet potato play, uh, print over that black ink with the tomato leaf. Fun! Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you being here.